Is this the memento Queen Maruman asked you to give to Prince Barhan? Yes, it is. It is written in Gardaka's code. The cipher of the Prophet of Valencia. Look at these weird symbols! Twins? Love? Yeah, I've got no idea. Prince Barhan will understand. Now let me prepare you a gift. This is a huge weight off my chest. I thought... What if I pass on before the prince comes looking for it? be back. I do expect a seven citron dish spread when I return, though. Uh, excuse me, Pa? Just figured you'd want to treat the future con to more of your overseas delicacies. Why'd you come all the way here anyway? Moslin asked us if we would like to go see a place where people the world over gather. Hey, you papu chatterboxes! Let the guests go already and get back to work! What a party pooper! Anyways, oh yeah, I have something for you! This is the citron seed for farming! It's filled with the vitality of the Mountain of Eternal Winter, so it's sure to grow well anywhere! If you enjoy it, the orchard could always use more farmers. Barhan, stop digging any further. Baram had no choice. Please, understand. So guys, how about we mosey on over to Ailton? No. Huh? We need to go complete the third trial. Uh, uh, Lord, Lord Jordine. Hmm? Th thank you for, for, for helping me. Thank you so very much again. Long ago, you were dragged off to Calpheon and made to be a fool. Think of this as recompense for not being able to protect you back then. But from this day forward, speak not my name, or the events of today will continue to haunt you. Banish all thoughts of me. It's plenty enough, if only I remember. Wow! Our dark dandelion sure knows a lot of people. <laughs> Seemed like him and that goblin go way back, didn't it? I need none of your concern. Where do we go from here? Over there! Trust me, the third trial is most definitely in that direction. That's just the road to town. You're going to town, aren't you? You don't actually have any idea where the third trial is. Yes, of course we're going to town. Oh, lovely Ailton. <sighs> Surely even your demon legs must get tired. I have no interest in sightseeing. There's no town better than Hydell, anyway. Now that I think of it, I've seen our bets across the continent. How come you've never left this place? Only those who walk the path of prophecy can leave the Highlands. The path of prophecy? Is it some ascetic practice? As a foreigner, I can't fathom why such a law exists. That aside, aren't you the heir of the Khan? 
You'd think such a clean piece of parchment would hold ink better. No wiser citizen would heed your word, and that does seem to be most. You need to be disciplined in the art of kingship, as it's taught in Serendia. Yeah, considering you just got done saying, there's no better town than Heidel. Kind of a pot and kettle situation here, don't you think? Read the clue about the third trial. Hmm. The third witch is Bronte, the Witch of Thunder. The molar that stewed in the furnace's fires wishes to sit atop Bronte's bolt tree. Let us return to that farm. Maslan, was it? She'll have the answer, I'm sure of it. Hey, have a little more faith in your companions! In two trials, how many times have I steered us wrong? Twice? That's nothing! <laughs> Remember Professor Talbudai? The winter tree researcher we met at Awena's tail? Let's go find her! She holds a seat on the Ailton Grand Conference. Uh, but she's probably at Snowstorm Guard Post training her disciples. Uh, uh, I mean... To Snowstorm Guard Post it is then. Shoot out! Get your act together! Like three mercenaries from your lot already ran off! This is a breach of contract! There's penalty fees for that sort of thing, you know. The Manuel mercenaries keep asking us for shift rotations ahead of schedule. They're shirking their responsibilities right in front of you! Are you blind? I already knew you were lacking any real wartime experience. But at least listen to those with the experience you lack. No matter how high the pay, we can't continue to work in a place like this. We quit! If you have any complaints, be sure to bring it up with Odelphin at the office. But if you want to talk with us, bring me your captain. They didn't just abandon you here while they ran off like chickens, did they? This here's the Snowstorm Guard Post. Hired through Odelphin's mercenaries office, were ya? I'm only gonna explain the situation once, so listen up! Our mission is to defend this location from the Oak Jinshini. Ailton is to our backs. We're the town's last line of defense. What are Oak Jinchi? Well, uh, they're creatures, to be sure. So remain vigilant. Is such incompetence catching? Uh, what did you say? If you heard not, I must have spoken not. We came here looking for the winter tree researcher, Tabudai. You scoundrel! If I wasn't on duty right now, I would have... Are you looking to test your skills? <clears throat> uh, rather, uh, uh... Tabudai is no longer here. She left the post to investigate the tree at Bronte's Bolt. Good. We were in search of that tree ourselves. Let us head there. You. We have need of a guide. Who gave the order to abandon your post? Are you a madman? Huh? I'm the one in charge here! You! Which mercenary guild are you from? Oh ho! 
that attire? Any chance you're one of Billow's rookies? Do you know who I am? I'm Aijin! I was chummy with Billow's baby brother before you earned your first coin. What's with all the ruckus? Why is Aijin blowing his top? Oh! Gunbold! Look at these big, strong mercenaries I have brought you! Hmm? <laughs> ah, it's been a while. Still the jokester, it seems. But I did warn you. This place is dangerous. You shouldn't be here. I promised you'd be the first to know if we find any trace of the Khan. Though, while you're here, pay a visit to Temujin at the training ground. We finally got a hold of some injured winter tree spirits. But Temujin is terrified of them. <laughs> it would be great if you could go over and give him a hand. Oh, so you wrangled some up, huh? Wow, I suppose I could lend a hand. Be right back! You scoundrel! If I wasn't on duty right now, I would've... Lando, still a young and foolish Abetz, was naive enough to bring you here. And I don't care what you came here to do. You shall not pass. Especially if you intend to bring along Lando, the heir of our Khan. But I am the commander of this post. If you have something to say... I will listen. As someone that bore the fangs of the lion and fought for our freedom, it pains me to see you in such a state as this. You recruit far too many mercenaries, causing them to bicker among themselves while you stand there without an inkling of concern for the infighting that ensues. You say they merely need to stand guard, but they let us in, complete strangers without the tiniest bit of suspicion. You're so filled with fear of your enemies, you can't even imagine going to fight them on the field. How do you plan to win a war like this? Is Ailton sitting atop a gold mine? Hiring all these third-rate mercenaries that enlist to do a mediocre job and collect their pay. If you've not struck gold here, then these people are being bled dry for nothing. If you too are mercenaries, then you will need to work for your money's worth. <laughs> you are 100% correct. I fully acknowledge my complete incompetence a hundred times over. I guess I needn't worry about leaving Lando's life in such capable hands. Let's continue talking inside. I'll get the drinks ready. What is a winter tree? Actually, you must be careful going to that place. I see. We check it out. Fiji territory. But what is a winter tree? Actually. You, uh, you look fairly young. <laughs> sure you're even old enough to have seen war? Seen war? I'm constantly embroiled in it. Oh, -ho! spoken like a commander. Leadership experience is pretty impressive for one of your age. I apologize if I am unmoved by the praise of a third-rate commander that can't even keep a mercenary army of this size in order. <laughs> this guy's got fire in him. Once you get older, you'll learn. The world has no outcome brought about without reason. But anyway, you said you were looking for Bronte's bolt. 
We will be heading beyond it to the Mountain of Eternal Winter. We are currently undergoing the trials of the Six Witches. Looking for the Yenix, I see. We have a saying around here. There are four seasons within the winter, and they revolve around the Yenix. And you're telling me this because... Right now, out of the four winters, this is the winter that courts death. Best to stay out of winters like this. I shall allow you passage to Bronte's Bolt. But there's a catch. We are not taking Lando. <laughs> this guy, sharp as a blade he is. <laughs> the abets that once called those ruins their home gather there. Talk with them, and they will help you with your you trial. Must be careful going to that place. It's Okichini territory. Some people claim to have seen seed like art. It's a big mistake to think that rationing food is an easy job. From Commander Garnbold? Phew! Well, I think you can lend me a hand first. The soldier in charge of rationing just picked up and left without a word. Sheesh. I thought we were kind of close. Seems I was... You can do the cooking. I will ration it. Everyone is starving. Empty bellies make for empty talk, as they say. If you can make it up this far, you must know some cooking basics. Everyone is starving. Empty bellies make for empty talk, as they say. If you can make it up this far, you must know some cooking basics. Everyone is starving. Empty bellies make for empty talk, as they say. It... Everyone is starving. Empty bellies make for empty talk, as they say. If you can make it up this far, you must know some cooking basics. You can do the cooking. I will ration it. Ooh, now I feel like I can survive. And wow, this tastes so much better. Did we change cooks? Ganbold told us to ask you about Bronte's boat. I'm truly aware of how hard it is to rebuild from utter ruin. However, I must know the details. Could you assist me? It's such an old tale that most of them won't remember. However, forgotten tales are somewhat of a specialty of mine.
Maternal Chief Records Officer at your service. A few days after the humans had left for the forbidden Black Mountain to meet the great founder, a new group of humans arrived and began to uproot a white tree devoid of leaves. Why are you uprooting this tree? Ail asked, to which the humans replied. This lightning-struck tree was once Brontes, the Witch of Thunder. She used it to teach us how to tear off a dragon's wings. We were grateful for her wisdom, but when storms came, lightning would set the tree ablaze. Now the witch is gone, as will we be soon, who will douse the flames that threaten to engulf our village. Until all that existed here exists no more upon our return. Ill thought a moment. There's no need to uproot the tree. We will keep it safe in your absence. But the human replied, Would you take the witch's wisdom from us? Only we can rule over the dragons. And with that, they uprooted the tree with finality and left. But Adel couldn't stand it. Much like the dazzling light at Awena's tail, he felt the tree calling out to him, this time in painful moans. His tears began to flow, but when they hit the ground, in their place grew another tree. As for the humans' fears, well, they never came to be. After the witch's death, an eternal winter befell this place. Then, ultimately, as soon as it rains, lightning will strike the Bronte's boat tree. It is nearly impossible for rain to fall there by natural means. Actually, it is impossible. But for Invish, the sage of the abets. Everyone, get up and head to cover! It's Professor Tabudai. She's returned with grave injury from Bronte's bolt! Professor, take this oak pill of flames. It will slow the spread of the poison. Poison? The oak Jinshini are using poison? Gonbold, no. It's not the Oak Jinshini. It's you. From Awina's tail. Is Lando here as well? Bring him here. I have something urgent to tell him. <laughs> <laughs>